Hello everyone, welcome back to Evermore. I am going to be working on a giant building in this episode, a giant museum, and I'm just going to get right into it. I really don't have much else to say in the intro because I haven't really been doing much since the last video except for this. This is really the majority of what I've been up to lately, and I just have a time lapse of the whole thing, so let's go ahead and go through the process of building a museum on our community island. I will say to start this, I had only planned out what the middle of the building was going to look like, but I didn't know what the rest of it was going to look like, so I was really just making it up as I went. But the first step was to terraform and extend the island around wherever I wanted to build this. I didn't want it to take up too much space on the Mushroom Island, which is why I decided to just terraform the area where it is located instead. While this does save a lot of space on the island for our other wonderful things, this also means that I am just creating a whole bunch of spawnable blocks that I have to make sure to keep spawn-proof throughout this entire process, which I almost died a couple times building this, but thankfully I don't think I had any deaths. But I came close a couple of times, as you will see. Since the center was the only thing I designed in creative beforehand, I just went ahead and made a basic layout of what that was going to look like and just built off of that using dirt as an outline for the building. Somewhere in the middle of this process was when I did a little sketch of what the building might look like and that helped me figure out where to put the dirt exactly and helped me start mapping it out. Once I was fairly confident with the shape and the scale of this building, I went ahead and started working on the center. And that took a lot longer than you might think because it is filled with over 400 beds. If I'm counting correctly, I think it's around 480 beds, which I thought was lower than that. It was actually a lot more beds than I thought. I was able to get a lot of those just from trading with villagers, which was a huge help, but I also had to craft quite a few as well. So at this point, I had a general idea for the shape of the building, I just had to start filling in things. So of course we're going to start with the floor, and the painful task of making sure everything is spawn proof. Why does that have to be so annoying? While the planning of this building took me many many hours just to plan it and get the size, filling it in and getting the floors in, the walls in, didn't take as long as I thought it would. I think the reason it took so long really was because I had to do a lot of AFKing for all the resources that I required since it required a lot of bone blocks for one, and a lot of quartz, which I had to trade for all of the quartz I used in this build. Even though this building is rather large, and I know some people have said, why would you ever need a museum this big? And a simple answer to that is, why not? It looks cool! Plus, you'll agree with me at the end that it is worth it. The size does make the difference. But one downside of making buildings this large, especially for someone like me who is not the best at detailing my structures, it also kind of goes along with the style of the structure, but it is rather simple. The walls are very, very flat. There isn't much depth to them. So I did add that little bit of extra depth near the base of the walls, and that did help a little bit, and it broke up some of the walls. But really, because they're so large and flat, it was really hard to get it to look really good. And I didn't add tons of windows or anything, but we might remedy this in the future with some other things on the walls. There's already some ideas brewing. But with the walls all in place and the entrance mostly completed, I'm ready to work on the roof which was a pain to figure out in survival because it involves a lot of arches and as well as a lot of octagons because the center of this building is an octagon and trying to figure out those angles and getting them to connect took me a little bit but once I figured it out I was able to finish it pretty easily I won't say quickly because building a roof this large definitely is not a quick process Unfortunately, as you will see, I wasn't able to spawn-proof the roof. I mean, I could have if I really wanted to, but I thought it was going to ruin the aesthetic to add buttons all over it, or carpet, or trap doors. It doesn't matter what option they use, I just thought it was going to ruin the aesthetic of it, so I decided to just leave it as it is and let the mobs spawn all over it. Which is fine, except it almost killed me. Now 
looking pretty good so far, except for one little thing. You'll see me working on this part of the roof, the upper part, in this clip. But shortly after I recorded this, I did re end up redoing the whole thing. So I tore down about half of it and shrunk it down a little bit because I felt like the wall was too tall. Just letting you know in case you see a difference. That's the exterior of the building done at least, but now I have to do the interior, which took me a long time because this is the part that used the majority of the quartz in this building. I used smooth quartz to cover almost everything on the inside, as well as rebuilding all of the ceilings. So there's basically a double layer of everything in this building, one wall for the inside, one wall for the outside, and a lot of the roof is doubled up too. Most of the interior I was just making up on the spot or quickly pre-designed something and then applied it to the build. But the centerpiece of the building was really the only reason I built the rest of the building to begin with. And you've seen it in the thumbnail already, but it really is the one thing I designed and decided to do this whole project based on just that one thing. While the building is mostly complete at this point, it still has a long ways to go. We still have to add exhibits and decorations, things to look at. Right now, it's pretty much bare bones, just the building and then the centerpiece. I did a quick tour with a couple other members on the server and they're gonna help me fill in this museum with lots of interesting things to look at. It is on our community island after all, plus bringing in other minds can think of all kinds of interesting things that I would never think of. So I'm really excited to see what they come up with. But now let's cut to that quick tour I gave and you'll get to hear some of our ideas. So Manta said she has seen the inside. Barbara, have you? Have you snuck um, a peek? I went, I went, <laughs> before you posted on Discord that you wanted to do an uh, unveiling, I went through it quickly <laughs> at the end of my first So nothing's going to be a huge surprise, but that's okay. Yeah. I can at but least... I didn't, I haven't, I've just noticed something that's in there, just through the doorway basically i haven't seen any of that it was all empty so oh okay so all of that was empty but you did see okay yeah so we're gonna do a quick you walk through the then inside basically it's just a show yeah we're gonna do a quick walk through of the inside and i'll give you some instructions for like how uh what you can edit basically what you can't edit what you can't touch um okay. i do want to i think i want to add more to the outside obviously it's very bare but I haven't, I just got tired of working on it. So, you know, I'm taking a break from it. Mm. But we do want to do like a nice path, maybe more trees along the path. Who knows? Maybe somebody has ideas. Is the path going to go to the portal? or? Um, that's what I was thinking, but it probably like won't be as wide as the stairs. <laughs> we don't have to make it as wide as the stairs. We we can have it narrow, be a little bit narrower and go over there. Yeah. Um, we could do um, like a little half circle. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Transition. A half circle and then the path would be smaller because it would I be want to do more of those circle. um these trees too I would love to add more of these trees along the path or even in mm. front of this this is supposed to be like a little introduction to museum I might rewrite yeah. this I don't know it's just a quick little like hello welcome to the museum type thing and going behind oh, here cool. I do have the map of the whole island so we can right. see what everyone oh, has wow. worked on Unfortunately, I couldn't fit the guardian farm, so I just made yeah. sure to include the mushroom biome at least. But I couldn't get yep. the guardian farm to fit. Unfortunately, I was I wasn't sure if I wanted to include that top part or the farm, but I went with that. No, okay. I think you're probably better with the top part anyway. I had ideas for the farm, which I don't think are possible. So <laughs> you don't think they're possible? Well, yeah. Um, I'll talk about it later because okay. I don't want to detract from okay. the museum. So over here, you know how this whole museum started. Take a wild no. guess. It was a, the, the, the dragon egg. The dragon. the dragon egg. Yep. I needed a place to put it because it, it's been in my base in an item frame this whole time. <laughs> and I'm like, I need to put this somewhere on our community island. I'm like, oh, I'll make a dragon statue. Oh, it needs to be hanging somewhere. Oh, how about a museum? Oh, look at this place. <laughs> That's what happened. Yep. So like one little thing leads to another. And then this is what <laughs> happens. All of this for that little dragon egg. <laughs> No, that's awesome. So that's we like... have four corners of the museum. I showed you that before, and they're each going to be a different theme. So you can pick mm -hmm. the corner that you want to decorate. You each have one of these rooms to decorate. 
You can do anything you want in here. I do have an extra pillager. I don't know what to do with him. But you can do anything you want in here if you want to add levels to it with staircases. I don't care. Whatever you want to do. If you even want to connect it to the downstairs, you can. And I'll show you that. There's also oh, wow, a downstairs. There's a downstairs. <laughs> yeah, there's a downstairs. <laughs> well, see, the downstairs hasn't been done yet. And I'm going to let you guys do whatever you want with it. So if you open up this black stone, these are doorways. But they're just blocked up for now. And there's a whole ocean down here and emptiness. Ah, uh, right, okay. So you get a whole quarter of the museum to do whatever you want in this part. You can so make we can rooms. Design the whole size mm -hmm. of the room, shape of the room, everything. Yep. Yeah. Yep, you can do whatever you want in there. I also have this area in the back that's supposed to be for gardens. I don't know what they're going to look like. I just kind of made the space because it needed something in the back. But if we want to extend this over to the farm and make a bridge, that would be cool. So you're welcome to add to the gardens. You're welcome to work on your rooms. The only thing you do, I don't want you to change, of course, is just this one main room. That's it. But anything underneath, inside the rooms, you can do. You can break my walls if you wanted to redo the concrete walls. I'm okay with that, too. It's up to you. And that's pretty much you, it. I had... You've played this already, have you, Mantis? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the ocean one. You can, I don't really care which one you pick, as long as it's whatever theme. You can pick whatever theme, whatever corner. I don't really care what order they would go in. Which side is still in the mushroom biome? I'll pick that. Um, one. Um, well, that, 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 most of unfortunately <laughs> most of this building isn't on the mo mushroom biome, but I would say either right. one of those front ones is probably your best Safe bet. For the front here. <laughs> As I was working on the dragon, because I was in this room for so long, for so many nights, uh, phantoms actually started spawning in here. In here? <laughs> in here. So just make sure you I sleep. Guess there's enough... Yes, there's enough space <laughs> up there, and they were spawning up here and attacking me as I was building this dragon. I was like, okay. So, but good news is you have plenty of beds on the floor to sleep on. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't yeah. need to bring your own bed. You got lots of beds around here. And it's also bouncy. <laughs> Well, that's pretty much it so far. It's kind of bare and empty. Needs some exhibits, some more things to look at. <laughs> that looks so funny. We just lying on the floor. <laughs> lying on the floor. Yeah. Should make it like, like an observatory. Oh yeah, you can look up. It is really pretty yeah. looking up. <laughs> that's too funny. But I think everything else is spawn proof or should be. Just phantoms will sometimes spawn up there. Yeah, that's it. We did talk about other ideas we could add, I just didn't want to spoil too much, so I didn't include parts of that. But I hope you guys like this museum, I can't wait to see it when it's actually completely filled in and decorated. But at least the worst part of it is done. I think this is the biggest building I've ever done in survival, so I'm pleased with it. I do want to do a tutorial for that dragon, so keep an eye out for that video whenever it comes out. I will try to get it out as soon as I can. I have a list of all the Evermore members in the description if you want to check them out, please do. And that's all for this video. I hope you were able to take some inspiration from it, and I will see you in another one. Bye!